Day rating is a seven. Got up, got in a run with my friend at the park this morning. Walked the pup. There was almost no one outside, which was great. And then the run we did four miles, came back, played with the pup for a minute, showered, went back to work. Work was a little bit eventful today. Our manager texted, or not texted, but emailed us and said, Hey everyone, it's National <clears throat> Sunday Day, or Ice Cream Sunday. And so there's a ton of ice cream stuff, there's a ton of fruit and toppings and syrup. It's all in the main break room, so go help yourselves and enjoy. So great, that was a nice little additive to lunch today. I felt a little bit down too because normally I have our time with ice cream but I just said you know what I got in one run today I was planning for two but it's national Sunday day so why wouldn't I want ice cream Sunday on ice cream Sunday not ice cream Sunday but on the national day right it's the best time to enjoy it and I haven't had ice cream in a while just because I have a little bit of the lactose intolerance and I don't like to, to have it and then try to go for rungs normally. It makes for a really difficult time. But I had my rice and chicken, and I said, you know what? Forget it. Screw it. Let, let's go enjoy this ice cream. So I had three scoops of vanilla, one scoop of strawberry, <clears throat> and it just tasted fantastic. I mean, I added some sliced almonds, some academia, I had a banana under there for to kind of make it the full sundae. And then I, did I add anything else to that? I thought there was one more topping I threw on there. There may have been one more, I'm not sure, but I enjoyed every single bite of it. And then I was waiting for my stomach to start turning, but I felt fine, so I went for the run. And it was a new group. It was over at this Hilton, not like Hilton, like the like the hotel, but Hilton. It's a bar, and they have a little food truck outside, and they had tacos and burritos. So I went to did that run with my buddy Jason. It was just a three mile. We ran the first mile together, chatted for a bit, and they got to stop sign or a stoplight. And then I was like, You gonna go? You gonna wait? And there was no cars, and so he said, Hey, I'm gonna wait. And I said, All right, I'm gonna go. And he's like, Yeah, go ahead, just go. <laughs> I think he was kind of pushing me to go so that he could slow down just a hair. He said he averaged 815, 820 pace, which is great for him. It's good. I think when we started running, where we're going, almost eight minutes so he needed to slow down just a hair to make sure he completed the run and <clears throat> feel good afterwards so he did that chatted for about an hour we had about five or six new people there so it was great to have that social community there with running and there was a little raffle they raffled off was it two my buddy said there was shot glasses I wasn't too sure I didn't get a good look at them and then they gave us a discount code for a rock and roll half marathon or marathon race coming up in January. So six months out, no, five, just about five months out. So that was pretty nice of them. It was a nice little event. I'm glad we went. And the loop was a little bit different. I mean, I ran in that area before, but it was almost a square. So not out and back, but you got north, you get to a certain street, you head all the way down to 30th, come back up, and then come back across. So almost a giant loop, but only three miles. There was actually two point nine five or nine nine eight something like that so you had to add on just a little bit to get to three and 
I had <clears throat> was passing someone who was about a half a mile left, and I was just saying, hey, good job, good job, because I picked it up again from about a mile out from Jason, or from when Jason and I stopped. So I was slowly catching people and slowly picking up the pace, trying to make it comfortable, but an aggressive pace. I don't want to say it was too aggressive, it wasn't like a race pace, but I was trying to get into that 7.30, 7.20 pace again. which was about a minute, a full minute faster than we were going. So it, I could feel my heart rate go up, my breathing. So it took a minute or two to calm back down. <clears throat> but one of the last people I passed, I said, hey, good job. And like, thanks. Good job, you too. And they said, what street do we turn on? And I said, uh, yeah. I tried to think real quick. It was like 22nd, 22nd street. And so I kept going and I tried to stay in their line of view, but there was, two people walking the other way so I went around tried to come back on the sidewalk so they can kind of see me so that when I turned they would know approximately where to turn depending on how far away I got and I turned and then I kind of directed them you know we're going this way now I didn't see them wave or acknowledge that they saw me so I went up a little bit and I turned around like, they should be right here I should see them cross the street and I didn't see them so I got a little bit worried I turned around to make sure they were there and they we're on the sidewalk and they popped out. I'm like, oh hey, thanks for coming back. I'm like, yeah, I just want to make sure <laughs> you know your way around. And I felt fortunate I did because they were not familiar with the group run either of the route, and they just moved here. What they say six, seven weeks ago from I was in Oregon. I think the other person said it was from Oregon. The other person said it from Oregon. I think they said Michigan. No, Montana, Minnesota, Minnesota. They just moved from Minnesota, so I don't think they're familiar with the area. And so I would have felt really bad if they were just kind of like, oh, I tried to go to the group run, they just dropped me. <laughs> but they were running really well. I think I talked to them for a minute, and they said they were going somewhere around 750 to 810 pace, which is really good. And it was still a little bit humid today, so I think everyone was sweating a lot more than normal. But yeah, it was a good little run. Everyone got. Well, a lot of the people got drinks and food afterwards. I didn't get anything, and I knew I had... Oh, excuse me. I knew I had a bunch of that chicken from the crock pot to eat up, so I had that. I pretty much made an enchilada casserole out of it, if you will. It's kind of my own concoction. I just... I used to love making enchiladas, but I noticed that it always took a lot of time to cook the chicken, pull part of the chicken, like shred it, put it in the tortilla, put the cheese in there, and then, or sorry, even before that, do like a flash fry or flash cook of the tortilla so it doesn't fall apart when you roll it. And then you get the chicken and then cheese and then you roll it, either roll it tight or get a, not paper clip, toothpick, put it in so it stays there, so you put it straight down the middle. <clears throat> and then put sauce and cheese on top. So it was just a process. So I said, okay, what are the main ingredients for enchiladas? Tortillas, cheese, sauce, and the chicken. And this is your cheese, and this is doing cheese enchilada, but I know you chicken enchiladas, so chicken. So the four ingredients. Sometimes I had green chilies in there. So I said, I'm just going to take these, throw them in one stir fry pot kind of deal, or frying pan and cook the tortillas a little bit, then add the chicken. Then everything starts getting cooked. I'm gonna add in the sauce, let the sauce just get warm, and then once it starts to kind of boil, then I'm gonna throw in the cheese and bring it down to a simmer and let that sit for a few minutes. So I did that, it came out pretty good. The only, only problem was that that chicken was still really frozen. I probably should have pulled it out <clears throat> a full hour to let it thaw. Because I was just scraping at it, scraping at it. I, I got about half as much chicken as I wanted, but I still had chicken, so there's still some protein. Still fairly filling up, but I think I'm going to be hungry in the morning. <laughs> so when I call it a night, I didn't finish all the push ups, pull ups. I did two sets of pull ups, two sets of chin ups, one set of push ups. I'm just tired. My hamstring's kind of tightening up right now. I'm going to get more water and then call it a night and go to bed. 
but that was the eventful Thursday. I, it was more, <laughs> it was busier than I thought it was going to be. So I kind of understand why I'm tired, but if you get some rest, tomorrow might be busy as well. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> All right. So run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.